Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up Dolphin, which is the Wii emulator, so you can emulate Wii games on your computer. If you, and this is for Windows, as you can see, if you're interested in doing it for Mac, for example, or Linux, feel free to check out my videos on that. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and let's just Google Dolphin. It should be the first thing that comes up, but I'll provide the link to everything that I mentioned. You want to click this download button, go to the latest version. So no matter what the latest version is, just use the latest version, you know, Windows. And I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Next, what you will need is 7-Zip or some other extracting tool. I'm going to, you know, use 7-Zip. It's free. It's lightweight. And so if I just click download that. If you are on a 32-bit operating system, you know, feel free to download that one. And next, really, I'm going to show you now where to get game from. So this is romsmania.cc. Little disclaimer, this video is not condoning piracy at all. Even though I'm showing you where to get games from, this is on the assumption that you actually own that game physically. Anyway, the game that I'm going to be downloading, I've already got downloaded, but the one I'm going to show you is Wii Sports, which is included in pretty much every Wii con or with every Wii console is only some of the latter consoles that they sold that didn't include it but pretty much everyone has this title i think i've got it two or three times i two times definitely once i've got it here once at my parents and i think i've got a third one somewhere as well i've had like you know a bunch of wii's over the years the original one and a black one i feel like i had another one between them two as well so yeah you just go onto the game that you want so like i said not condoning piracy it's just where you can get it if you already you know own the physical version make sure you go to more options and click you know what you say slowest you don't want this this downloads an executable and you want the you know this one here which will download a zip file you know a seven zip file and doo -doo -doo. i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it cancel that and now we can actually close the web browser then open up you know where you've installed everything first of all open up 7-zip executable click yes and you go to install choose your destination this has picked up this destination because this is where i've already got it installed so i'm just going to overwrite it so click on install there we go and to extract these you want to right click it go to 7-zip Go to extract to, and this will extract it to the folder of the same name. Do the same thing for Wii Sports or, you know, whatever game you're using. Again, not condoning piracy. So we've got everything here now. So I'm going to create a new folder. Well, not that. I'm going to create a new folder called Wii. And I'm going to put everything that I've just extracted inside of here. And I'm also going to create a new folder called Games. I'm going to put all the games in there. And now, so let's open up Dolphin. So if we go here, just open up the EXE. Uh, I don't want to report anything back. So here are a few cool things. So you can go to the config, change stuff like you can enable cheat, enable, you know, increase the speed, do a bunch of cool different things, aspect ratio, USB keyboard. Feel free to experiment with that. Overclocking the CPU, you can, you know, experiment as well. You can go to graphics and the back end will be the, you know, the, the renderer. It's recommended that you use OpenGL if you don't know which one to use. But feel free to experiment, finding which, you know, what works best for you. You can show the FPS. And there's a bunch of other enhancements that you can do, like trying to increase resolution, depending on what sort of you know computer you got, you may or may not be able to do these changes and have a playable frame rate. Next, I want to show you is controllers. So you can have a like you can connect up a GameCube controller or something to emulate that. And a great thing to emulate that might be like a Xbox or a PlayStation controller. For the Wii remote, you can actually connect up a real Wii remote. I'm gonna have a separate video because that isn't you know platform specific like os specific i'll have a separate video covering that and that'll be pretty cool otherwise you can emulate the wii remote so if i go to configure and there are some you know stuff that are already there for you know the motion the swing doesn't have anything by default but i'm going to cover all of that soon so i'm going to leave this open i'm going to actually no i'll close it and close that and now to open a game you can go to open find 
the file they extracted or you can just double click here set a games directory so in this case for me it will be like downloads chrome we and it'll be games and if i say select folder ah it needs to be where all of the so i need to actually take this out and put it into games as you can see it's picked it up now now that i've actually moved this so i'll delete that folder or you can manually open it and navigate to it like so but this is pretty cool so you can see you know all your games and you know can do you know, can do a bunch of stuff like perform system update but we're not really interested in that i'm just going to double click it to you know launch the game up there we go As you can see, I'm able to emulate this, and the mouse button is A and B. But I'm going to so turn the volume down. It's just you know, it's just easy to talk that way. And like this, we go back to the game. Go into here. Do you want to create a save file? Why not? Why not indeed? And now let's go into game. Let's play. Obviously, it's not one to one mapping. Int. Mouse and control. It's basically trying to emulate the sensor. The number of players is one. Number of players. I'm happy to be. Okay. Go to okay. Click the AMB. It's gonna, you know, give me a little error now. It says unplug the extension controller. So by default, by default, it plugs the nunchuck extension. There's a variety of other extensions that you can plug in and emulate. So if I go to none, this basically proceeds now because for the tennis, you know, game, it requires no extensions. If we go to here. So the thing is. How do we swing? So if I press A, that will you know throw the ball up, but I can't swing it. So what we can do is go to motion controllers. We want swing, and it's always recommended that you basically use a you know an input that isn't used for something else, just so it doesn't cause any confusion. So for this, I'm gonna because I only really need left and right um, I can use the numpad to do so so I can do up like this no I don't need that numpad 8 I can do down below 2 and there we go ok so you can see if I press 4 which is left it simulates that we can simulate tilt as well and you know we can also cl collaborate this in terms of you know dead zone all of that stuff so we can do you know relative input as well but again not interested in customizing this too much you can you know do that for your own liking feel free to you know experiment with this that's another great thing about the emulator if i go back to the game Okay, so now we're back here. So if I press the up arrow, or not the arrow, the, the not on the numpad, boom, there we go. At 60 frames per second, we have. Ooh, 15. I will get it. Yep, there we are. 15 off. And that's really that's all you need to know. If I click X, do you want to stop the current emulation? And there we go. It has now shut down. So that is how you set up the Wii emulator on your Windows machine. And if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. Again, not condoning privacy with this video. Only, you know, make sure you download games that you physically own. And I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.